Hey everybody, Guy from Ajax here. Welcome to the Daily 5 and 9, where I try to win five Splinterlands matches before I lose five. And I record the matches in real time so you can hear my stream of consciousness thinking while I set my strategy. And I'm not plugging Geeked Out Basketball in my opening today. Instead, uh, check out my other content series I'm running in, in honor of March Madness, where I've taken my 36 best performing cards via the data, and I'm having a March Madness style tournament with them. And speaking of March Madness and Splinterlands, if anyone follows uh, Hawks21, check out his channel as well, too. He's doing a March Madness-style content series and a tournament around actual Splinterlands players having a tournament. So a lot of March Madness um, juju going on around Splinterlands right now. So let's jump into today's matches. Uh, one day out uh, from this season ending, I really, really want to get to Champion 3. Um, at a minimum, I need to get to Diamond 1. You can see I'm essentially squarely in the middle of Diamond 2. So let's roll today. Let's look for a good day. I believe I'm one and three on the month so far, which isn't great. All right, standard, 17 mana, Earth, Death, Dragon. Um, that is an interesting dragon lineup. Look at that, Bakjira and Igor. There must have been some rule sets in play here. Um, all right, so 17 mana. How do I want to play this one under a standard rule set? I want to make sure I have plenty of offense. So I'm going to go Obsidian. Um, I'm going to go Pelicor Mercenary. Regal Periton. That's just not... <clears throat> it's not lining up, is it? What other... What if for a tank-like monster I lean into Zenith Monk? That still leaves me with four. Okay, I like the way this is. Or what if I even go a bit unconventional? Let the Chaos Agent be a tank-like monster. I go with Jin Bilka. I said I wanted offense. I got Regal Periton and Jin Bilka in there, and I still have four mana to work with. I think, you know what I'm going to do here? Because I've also got room for the Fiend, don't I? <clears throat> four mana. Do I do this instead. Bear with me. We're going to go Mycelic Morphoid. So now we have two tank-like monsters and we're going to armor them up with Queen Mycella. We're going to let the Regal Periton essentially be the anchor monster since Jim Bilka has camouflage. And hopefully the high speed of the Regal Periton will be able to avoid any sneak attacks or some sneak attacks. I've been... But adjusting my style a little bit, I used to put, um, I tended to put, you know, armor or high health monsters in the anchor position. Um, I'm going with more high speed, like Pelicor Bandit, Regal Periton. Seeing how that plays out, just under the the guise that they'll they'll avoid being hit as much. Okay, no uh, no sneak monsters in play from my opponent. We're both going magic. From levels, I have the card advantage. We'll see if that holds up. Okay, the thorning the thorning worked. My Celic Morphoid did his job. Great. There goes my fiend. Um, I mean it's looking good. So like, yeah, it's looking really good. Yeah, their their Bilka won't hold up. One zero. Great. Let's get a streak. Broken arrows taking sides. Aimless. Forty one mana. Water and life. Okay, so level six, Kelia. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward lineups here for um, water. I mean, since I have the card advantage, I'm just going to lean into my best lineup, which is water. I think it's a combination of. I really like pairing Kulu Mastermind and Deep Lurker putting Bakjira up here, and then I still have 16 mana across three monsters. <clears throat> it's Broken Arrows. Oh yeah, let's get River Hellendale in here. Let's buff up some, some uh, melee. And I really don't have any six mana monsters left, do I? It's too bad because I like these three mana monsters. I mean, Musa Selene is great with her. You know, I'm going to play these monsters. No, no, I'm not. Yeah. What else do I want to do here? Let's see. 
for four. I could consider River Nymph. Wave Smith. What do I have for eight man? I do have Jin O'Shaughness. Could I do, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go Pelicor Bandit and Mardali Guardian. Actually, you know what? I already have two tactical type monsters with Bakjira and River Hellendale, so I'm going to optimize for offense, put Musa Selene in here. Uh, she's only one attack, but uh, she brings a lot more to the table, including Shatter, um, which should help my, my four melee attack monster. So I've really, you know, I'm really relying on the Mastermind, Deep Lurker, and Bandit to deliver mega offense being buffed by River Hellendale. Uh, ideally, some shields being removed by Musa Selene. And then Bakjira just needs to be the stubborn tank. Any offense I get out of him is going to be bonus. Okay. Did I overthink this one? We're going to find out. I mean, should I? I tend to regret it when I don't put the Mardali Guardian into play. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. It played. It played out. Musa Selene shattered, and then Mastermind was able to... Uh, eliminate the Mordali Guardian. Okay, and there goes the Mordali Guardian again. I think my River Hellendale is going to get poisoned out before she can resurrect anybody. Or she's going to get meleeed out, potentially. Oh, oh she's going to resurrect my bandit. Great. <clears throat> okay. Don't like that miss, but this is still looking very promising. Yeah, I can't imagine Jin O'Shaughness and Flying Squid, even now just Jin. Yeah, he's not holding up. Okay, 2-0. Uh, <clears throat> Let's keep this rolling. I don't want to jinx myself, but I need a good day in March. Okay, Equalizer, Holy Protection, Thorns, 57 mana, everything except Fire. Save so a maxed out Pasiblis and a maxed out Lily and a maxed out Wraith and Jacek. Look at that. All the Legendary Summoners maxed out. Who knows what the heck I'm going to get. Probably Dragon, if I had to bet. So how do I play this one? I think I just need to... I think I need to deliver offense. Especially if you got a, a potential Lily in play. Um, if I'm going offense. I think that's Water. I think that's my best offensive unit. I do want the Agor Longtail and the Chaos Dragon and the Carnage Titan, if I can. We're going to find out. Yeah, I do want the Deep Lurker. And then I guess, do I go Pelicor Bandit? And then that leaves me a four. I mean, for offense, this would work. Because I can go Dampier Infiltrator. All right, here we go. I don't know. I don't know why I weirdly think I'm going to get a Lily, um, because my opponent clearly didn't really show much many tendencies. Just pretty much playing all other than <laughs> playing maxed out legendary summoners. Um, but I guess with this mana count, it's reasonable to expect Dragon. That's where the best monsters, you know, if you got all the mana in the world to work with, that's where the best monsters are. Seems my opponent is still deliberating. Yep, as expected, they're coming at me with Dragon. Let's see, was I psychic? Did I predict Lily? No, I guess not. Uh, they're also coming quicks. Quicks in life. Interesting. All right. So they have Uriel in play. So I'm going to be attacking the heck out of this Time Mage. Um, th oh, I needed to land that and poison the Time Mage. So my opponent's definitely accounting for the Thorns better than I am. I 
Yeah, I think I got out coached on this one. Thorns are going to get me way, way too much melee to account for thorns. Never resurrect. Yep, I got out coached. And the triage is in play. This is a really great lineup. Good job, uh, Digital Breaker. Yep, and they have a double resurrect. Okay, it's the third time my Deep Lurkers eliminated their Time Mage. Don't know why I'm continuing to watch this. I think I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's just move on. All right, uh, two and one. Very, very poor play on my part. I deserve to lose that one. Okay, uh, healed out, close range, stampede, 43 mana. Everything except water. It's what I tend to do sometimes. I kind of focus in on like one specific aspect. Like I was really focused on the lily there and just completely overlooked other very basic components of that match. Okay, close range, healed out. Mm. All things considered, I, I'm going back to dragon, and we are going to lean into death. I like the dragon plus death. I don't think that gets enough love. Uh, let's go... Let's go Jim Chihuahua. Uh, I am going to go Lyra. I like the speed that she brings to the table. Uh, I still have a lot of mana to work with. Let's go Runic Skyclaw, be just simply because it's such a strong card. And now I have 15 mana across three cards yet to work with. Hmm. Um, I really would like to play the Jin Maramp. But do I have the luxury of doing so? Uh, you know, instead of Jin Chihuahua, we're going to go Harclaw. It feels like with close range in play, he might be a better tank. And let's do it. Let's go Jin Morant. No, let's not. Let's not. I'm just not feeling a lot. If I get a lot of magic from my opponent, then uh, so be it. But I think I'm going to go Berserker or Basilic. And I'm going to move the Skyclaw ahead of Lyra, and I have 11 mana to work with. I mean, I think I just dial up speed even more with the Supply Runner and get a little magic in play with the Void Dragon. Yeah. All right. Mm. I'm glad I have a couple speed... Speed buffs in there, because they're bringing Jacek at me. If they have Sinash in there, then... Nope, no Sinash. Okay. Um, but you look at that. That's an interesting strategy, plus the speed up on a already frustrating Coriol Lurker. Fortunately, I have a lot of high-speed monsters in play. Okay. Great. Yep. The Coriol Lurker did not become nearly as stubborn as it could have been. I have Lyra the Dark and Supply Runner to thank for that. Okay, great. Eliminated that forgotten one and did not get a retaliate. That was significant. This is still anybody's match. Okay. Um, Harclaw did a nice job of absorbing that ranged. Ah, but then he missed his attack. Yeah, that was a bummer. Ah, that Radiated Brute is being stubborn. Shouldn't avoid the magic. Yep. Okay, oh, voided the poison, thank goodness, on my void dragon. Okay, great, got this one. Can't imagine Lyra's going to miss this. Okay. What do we got, 3-1? Yep, 3-1. Okay.
Okay, Earthquake, Broken Arrow, Spreading Fury, 39 mana, Water, Life, Dragon. Bum, bum, bum. They have a 7 Kala. Yeah, I mean, anything's in play here. Probably Water. Actually, you know, probably Dragon with Earthquake. I'm going Dragon. Earthquake, I like it when I have the opportunity to go Dragon plus Life. You have a lot of good flying monsters in that combination to choose from. And it's Broken Arrows, which is fine. Because I think we can go Conjure. Makes Conjure even more relevant. Void Dragon. Chaos Dragon. Do I go Celestial Harpy? Um, I mean, is there enough armor out there for me to put the Brightwing into play? Not really. Honestly. Ah, oh, goodness. But she does have flying. She does have resurrect. She does have immunity. I mean, if I put her in play, that leaves me... I mean, I don't really like either of these monsters. You know, I guess I do like Rust from the Technomancer. I'm not going to force it, though. I'm just going to try to put a couple more good monsters in play. So I have 12 mana... What if I go, I mean, what if I go with the Bosun for Mega Offense and Naga Assassin? Oh, no, there is no Naga Assassin. That's right. I guess Dax back here just to kind of be a bit of a high mana or high health tank-like monster to absorb any sneak attacks. Let's see what happens. Okay, they have Holy Protection across the board. And they're coming with Uriel. Can't argue with this strategy. Uriel plus Brightwing. And then also it's, uh, I think it was a Shield or what's her name? Yeah, True Speaker. True Speaker. Pretty good strategy. Especially which with as much, I, I really only have two monsters hitting the back line. Okay, I need my Conjure to last long enough to magic reflect out this Brightwing, frankly. There goes their Fiend. I guess it's resurrected. Honestly, the fact that they used the resurrection on a Fiend is amazing. Dang, my Conjure did not last that long. And now my Bosun is poisoned. Okay, I got one more hit. Only took out two armor, though. That's all right. I uh, just eliminated two monsters, and their Brightwing and their Fiend are on their last leg. It's going to be a question of if I can get that freaking Uriel out of there. Okay, great. There goes Brightwing. Okay, Uriel's probably going to eliminate my Void Dragon. Ah, and my, Vo and my Chaos Dragon is poison. Not great. Great, that worked, woo! Uh, that was a close one. Okay, 4-1, fun match. Uh, good job, Blockchain AF. Close range, Silent Summoners, Equalizer. 52 mana, everything except water and death. So with Equalizer in play, and close range, and Silent Summoners, Let's, again, I think just go Dragon. That'll just give us more monsters to choose from in Silent Summoners. And, I mean, with Close Range and Equalizer, who has lowish mana monsters? I think let's lean into Earth. I mean, I love the Seedsmith. I'm going to force him into the lineup. Um... I think we get a, get a little self-heal with the Pelicor Mercenary rolling. Should be solid. Um, any of these super large monsters that I want to play. I mean, let's just let's get instant offense with Chaos Dragon. I still have 22 mana to work with. So I guess that's probably Carnage Titan. I'm just going to be hitting the heck out of their tank. I'd like to get a little bit more backline damage in here, so that's Runic Skyclaw, right? 
probably the perfect type of card for that. And then for two, um, you know, maybe a little unconventional go Khmer Princess. And do, I, honestly, I'd like to get some triage into play, though. I don't know how I force triage, though. Uh, I'm going to leave it like this. I don't know if this... I, I don't know. We'll see. kind of feel like I could have put a more thoughtful lineup into play. Maybe, I mean, I think between triage and armor, I could have forced Queen Micella. Uh, actually, my first round um, tournament video, Queen Micella is 13 and 5 for me in Equalizer rule set. Probably all the more reason I should have considered her. I should follow my data. Look at that, yeah. Um... My cell, our uh, Pelicor Mercenary didn't quite last. My opponent just had a lot of tank-focused offense in play. Yeah, look at that. They're, they're out playing me. And they do have triage. I got outplayed. Okay, 4-2. Uh, Good match there, Espid. Well played. Let's close this out. Okay, weak magic, aim true, tis but scratches, 34 mana, everything except fire. I'm guessing maybe a dragon. Um, ba -ba -ba. You know, 34 mana, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go water. And I'm going to go with my, my guys here. Demon Shark. Uh, Deep Lurker. I think that there's room for a Jin O'Shaughness and a Tide Biter. And then what happens if I also go Pelicor Bandit? I mean, really, what happens if I go not Jin O'Shaughness, but I go Medali Guardian, Pelicor Bandit, and now I have seven to work with? I have four pretty strong offensive melee monsters in play, which tells me I'm going River Hellendale. Mm, yes, right here. Or, I mean, I could go Swamp Spitter as well too and get Repair in play, but no, I'm going to go River Hellendale. Make Demon Shark, Tide Biter, Deep Lurker, and Pelicor Bandit even more formidable melee monsters. Right? My opponent, yep, as expected, coming at me with little quicks. Glad I avoided archery monsters and just went heavy melee. Okay, they do have thorns in play, but only one of my four melee monsters is going to be getting thorned. Two are hitting the back line, the other one doesn't get thorned. And let's get a little repair going from my Medali Guardian. Ah, dang, they did stun my Demon Shark. Don't like that. Eliminate Uraeus, that's key. I can't have him delivering poison all over the place. I uh, would like to have gotten Crystal Smith out sooner. Okay, there's a Resurrect. Tidebiter, great card. One of the more underrated cards. Okay, great, eliminated the Crystal Smith. Okay, River Hellendale did her job. Uh, there goes my Demon Shark. Okay, fortunately the Weak Magic helped out. I need you to poison. Ah, that's all right. I guess or just take out the Gen Renova. 
Super, okay. Uh, five and two day today. Uh, good day, two and three in the month of March. Again, check out my March Madness content series. Um, uh, ha we're having fun. You're gonna see who's the uh, top performing card over the past few months. Everyone have a great day and uh, we'll see you in a bit, bye.